Florence was the center of the Renaissance. Art and humanism was able to prosper thanks to Cosimo de' Medici, Florence's wealthiest and most influential citizen. He inherited both wealth and expertise in banking from his father, Giovanni de' Medici de' Medici, who founded the Medici Bank and was one of the wealthiest men in Florence. Cosimo was interested in the study of ancient artists' works as well as the classics. Using his wealth, he collected manuscripts of classical writings, which were used to maintain the Platonic Academy, a place for intellectuals to discuss ideas concerning the classics. Lorenzo il Magnifico, Cosimo's grandson, was also educated in the Platonic Academy. He was the most powerful and enthusiastic patron of the Renaissance. He expanded the Medici library started by Cosimo, employing a large workshop to copy the books and spread their content across Europe. Meanwhile, the spiritual life also prospered. A preacher named Savonarola was concerned with the church's abuses and people's materialism, especially because Florence was wealthy and therefore provided various outlets for extravagant spending. He preached against the accumulation of worldly possessions and in what was called the bonfire of the vanities, people burned immoral paintings, cosmetics, musical instruments, and playing cards. Although he was successful in turning away many Florentines to return to a more spiritual way of life, he disobeyed the Pope by preaching under a ban and was publicly executed in 1498. Nevertheless, his spiritual teachings to turn people away from excessive entertainment resulted in the balance between religion and humanism. Florence was a city of birth for the Renaissance because it possessed two very important things, a desire for knowledge and a belief in experiment. Florence embodied these two ideals in its painting, architecture, and sculpture. Florence also had the Bottega system. Every artist had their own workshop that recruited young apprentices and taught them the very basics of art. For example, how to make paint, how to draw and paint, and prepare canvases. Patrons were also intellectually and artistically inclined, so they heavily funded the movement in the arts. They contributed to increasing the quantity and quality of the art at the time. The Medicis contributed the most towards art during the Renaissance. Cosimo de Medici was a patron of artists, and he created many projects for different artists. He was one of the biggest art collectors at the time, and princes would later copy his style of art patronage. Features of Florentine art include humanistic themes, linear perspective, and attention to physical detail. Brunicelli, creator of the Florentine Dome, developed the theory for linear perspective. He made it simpler to understand the relationship between the picture and space. Giotto, one of the foundational painters that changed the traditional way of art, made improvements upon how the human body was portrayed in art. Art in Florence was largely patronized by people, governments, civil servants, more so than the Catholic Church. This ultimately provided more room for freedom and experimentation. Rome would later replace Florence as the center for Renaissance art, but Florence was the birthplace of the Renaissance. Florence was very important to the global economy because it was one of the most industrialized cities in medieval Europe. Its main source of income was its textile industry. Wool of superior quality was often purchased unfinished and untreated from England and Iberia. Florentine textile workers then cleaned, carded, spun, dyed, and wove the wool into cloth of excellent quality and sold the finished material in Italy, northern European cities, and even in eastern countries. Other textile experts purchased inferior cloth from northern cities and refinished it to create a superior product. Importation of raw materials and the exportation of finished cloth necessitated the creation of commercial and banking practices, helping create a strong banking system in Florence. Florence was not a port city like Venice, so sea trade was not a primary source of its income. Banking was its primary source of wealth. Its river, the fast-flowing Arno, provided power and water for industry and access to the sea for imports and exports. Many families of Florence, beginning in the 13th century, were su successful bankers. Banking developed in Florence because of the development of bills of exchange, first as a way of paying debts without having to transport cash and then as a means of extending credit. The Florentine gold coin, known as the Florin, was of such reliable purity that it was the standard coinage throughout Europe, making it a worldly monetary value and strengthening the economy even more. Florentine bankers were known throughout Europe as well, for they established banking houses in other important cities such as London and Belgium. 
the rich encouraged simulation of the economy through spending on luxury goods for their palazzos and on shameless dressing up, leading to an outburst of great work by artesian painters, sculptors, architects, and decorators. The annual musical May Festival in Florence attracts visitors from far beyond the city, showing that the city of Florence has a strong appreciation of art and culture today, and its traditional handicrafts, glassware and ceramics, iron, leatherwork, wares of precious metals, art reproductions, high fashion clothing, and shoe production are still sources of income to this day.